I was gaming back when it wasn't necessarily a popular thing to do. People got, you know, beat up. You were a big nerd for gaming. And I think that's changed and become more popular. And now I'm doing things like this with you. Since launching 20 years ago, Halo redefined how we game. And no matter how many maps we've mastered or how many medals we've won, we're only as good as our weakest battery. Game Longer. This is how Halo changed my life. Powered by Duracell. First-person shooters are an esports staple thanks to a revolutionary title released 20 years ago, Halo Combat Evolved. The Halo franchise has influenced many to pick up a controller and game longer, including some of those who have made a name for themselves in the entertainment industry. Today, we're on location with multifaceted entertainer and games expert Ron Funches to talk all about how Halo changed the gaming culture, inspired more folks to call themselves gamers, and what it is about this franchise that gets players to game longer. Ron, thank you so much for joining us today of to talk course. about a little game called Halo. Um, so why don't we start there? Can you tell what can you tell us about your introduction to Halo? Oh, I've been there since the beginning. You know, I think we got a 20-year anniversary, and I was there for the launch of the Xbox at the time. I didn't know much about Halo; just looked like a regular first-person shooter to me. But next thing I know, there's LAN parties, there's friendships being formed, there's just magnums and shotguns being shot everywhere, and here we are, several games later, and now we're in the infinite. What is it about Halo that you feel allows players to game longer and that it's this game that has kind of withstood the test of time and players are coming back to it game after game, year after year? What is it about Halo? Well, I just think at the very base level, it's just such a well-made game. I think they, the developers even talked about just wanting to create that perfect 30-second loop that's always feeding you something new and feeding you something fun. And whenever you play a Halo game, you feel that. That's right. So it sounds like maybe what you liked about Halo was the multiplayer. Were you more of a multiplayer guy or a campaign? Both. I like okay, both, like really. Both. I mean, it was a lot of fun for me and my son. Like, I, I introduced my son to gaming um, from Halo a lot. Like, for him, like, Master Chief is his Mario. Like, mm -hmm. that's what he grew up with. Like, he had a Master Chief birthday cake for his 18th birthday. Like, he loves Master Chief quite a bit. <laughs> and so, um, it helped my son bond a lot that we would play through the campaign together. Just going, starting with Halo 2. Halo 2 came out a little bit after he was born and it marked a lot of, of progress in my son's life of just watching him, me just carrying him and him not shooting anything to being like, oh, okay. Oh, you don't even need me anymore. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful part of our journey together. Do you remember the first time he, I'm making an assumption here, but he beat you in Halo? That's never happened. Oh, it's never happened. Would you ever about. let him just be you? So you would never let him. He has to earn it. No, I mean, if it starts going that way, I just like, look, we got to take the Xbox <laughs> back. We got to turn. I'm uh, now we don't even, we don't even get electricity anymore. We get too close. <laughs> so think about that before you make a decision. <laughs> what I tell him all the time. No, he's actually <laughs> beating me. He's really good at games. He's so good at games. I think that's so special because I have a similar relationship with Halo and like my dad and my brother where it's such a core part of our relationship. Mm -hmm. And I think it's cool to hear that it's something that resonates with so many people. So did you ever have LAN parties? And if you did, can you tell us a little about, about like I don't know what you felt made them so special. Oh, definitely. I mean, it came in right at the my tail end of my high school, college years. So for me, it was just almost like all of us trying to hold on to our childhood for a couple more years of us being like, let's get everybody together, link these Xboxes up and, and play some Halo together. We just get together, we get the LAN party going, eat some pizza, get some junk food in us and stay up till two, three in the morning. Cause we were, you know, in our teens, our early twenties. And it was like, I don't think any of us said it at the time, but we were like, oh, we're headed towards adulthood and, and responsibilities and not being able to do this every day. So let's do this right now. So gaming is about focus, which means you know no distractions. What do you do to stay in the zone? 
Ooh, sometimes I put on headphones and I play some music, but that's not always great for Halo because you want to be able to hear the 3D where people are. So what I'll usually do is I'll lower the lights, I'll shut my office door. Sometimes if it's getting real competitive, I'll lock it so my wife can't just come in and be like, can you pause it? Because she doesn't understand that you can't pause it in Halo. And what I really like to do is have my like, whole battle arrangement put together. I have my full thermos full of water. I got my snacks on the right. I got my controller right here. And I'm just like, I pop a token that says we're getting double XP for an hour. And then I'm just locked in. So how has gaming or Halo or both influenced your, your career? And how has your career influenced the way that you see games oh, and storytelling? That's a good question. Um, it's basically just allowed me to just enjoy the things I like no matter what other people feel about them. I was gaming back when it wasn't necessarily a popular thing to do. People got, you know, beat up. You were a big nerd for gaming. And I think that's changed and become more popular. And now I'm doing things like this with you. My Twitch channel is popular. I host some game show things with video games. I make money off of my love. And I think that's one of the most beautiful things in the world because at the end of the day, it only brings me more positivity. Mm -hmm. People aren't gonna give me free games if I never say I like video games. People aren't giving me free games now that often, but they should. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a lower third of your P.O. box there? Um... <laughs> So with a busy work schedule, what do you do to find the time to play video games to game longer? Oh, I just cut other things out. Family members, whatever I have to. You just keep the door locked. I, yes, no, but I um, mean, I think I, it is a part of my balance. Like I just choose what, what I want to do. It's part of my schedule. It's one of the reasons why I do my Twitch is so that I have like a scheduled time that I'm going to game when I hang out with my friends. And I've really enjoyed that because it's, um, introduced me to new friends I never thought I'd have. And it's also uh, hanging out with a guy who I hadn't seen in 15 years that we got reintroduced because of Twitch. And I, I, I love making that time just for me to game and have fun. I'm not running to go see the next movie or like, I don't watch every TV show everybody's watching, but mm -hmm. I pretty much play every new game. So I think that's just who I am. I'm a gamer. Well, Ron, thank you so much for sharing your love of gaming and just how passionate and your earnestness about it. It's definitely contagious. And good luck out there in Infinite. Thank you so much, Sydney. I hope I don't see you out there, because if <laughs> I do, you're going down. <laughs> I promise you. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>Thank Ron for joining me today to talk about his career, the Halo franchise, and what it means to game longer. Don't forget, Duracell Optimum is the power you can trust to game longer, delivering extra life in the leading alkaline-powered wireless controller. And for more on all things Halo, stay tuned to IGN.com.